Spring has sprung in New York City, and you know what that means. Before we know it, the good weather will be upon us, and best of all, the flowers will be in full bloom. Now what better way to celebrate this most remarkable time of the year than by literally taking the time to smell the roses and appreciate the nature around us. In today's video, we will discover some of the best and most colorful places to witness spring blooms and bright florals throughout the city. Some are for a small fee, but most you can enjoy free of charge. Whether it's tulips you like, or daffodils, cherry blossoms, or magnolia trees, I've got a place for it all. In fact, they're already starting to bloom, so we better not waste any more time. So without further delay, here are the top 10 places to see New York City in full bloom. Number 1. The Gardens of the Battery Not exactly Battery Park City, which is a neighborhood adjacent to it. Instead, the Gardens of the Battery can be found within the Battery, a 25-acre complex located at the tip of Lower Manhattan. Formerly known as Battery Park, it's actually a system of multiple parks, gardens, and monuments displaying a lush array of perennials that bloom throughout the spring and summer. In case you weren't sure, perennials are those hardy plants that can survive New York's coldest winters and grow back in the spring without missing a beat. Known as the largest perennial garden in North America, the gardens of the Battery will offer you hours of peaceful splendor. Some of the best spots where you will find the most beauty are Wagner Park, South Cove Park, Battery Bosque, and the Gardens of Remembrance. These gardens are free, they're gateless, and they're open to anyone who wants to take in their good looks. Number 2. The Brooklyn Botanic Garden Of course you would expect to find all kinds of colorful flowers in this popular botanical garden, but the spring highlight at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden has always been the cherry blossoms. This is when all the Kwanzaa and cherry trees put on their best show. Here, you'll find yourself under a canopy of these puffy pink trees as you stroll along the cherry esplanade and cherry walk sections of the garden. There's also a ton of other cherry trees throughout the Japanese hill and pond garden. It's not always easy to pinpoint when exactly these remarkable trees will bloom. Each year, they surprise us. But know that the pink extravaganza will take place in any given two-week period between April and May. Don't want to miss it? Keep track of the cherry blossoms daily by visiting the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens website for their up-to-date bloom status on cherry trees throughout the entire city. There's a modest entrance fee to the garden. However, free tickets are available if you qualify. Number 3. Park Avenue Why fly to the Netherlands for an amazing tulip display when we have it right here on Park Avenue? Each spring, during the month of April, New York's swankiest avenue goes through a massive transformation with a gorgeous parade of brightly colored tulips for all to enjoy. You can find this colorful display all along the malls of Park Avenue between 54th and 86th Street, offset by pastel pink cherry blossoms perfectly poised in the background. Each year, the conservancy which funds this spectacle chooses a specific color. Last year, it was a bright red. This year, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. At the end of every tulip season, the public is invited to attend the Great Tulip Dig, where all 70,000 bulbs along the avenue become free for the taking. This is to make way for the begonias that will adorn the flower beds during the summer months. Last I checked, tulip bulbs cost a pretty penny. So if you're looking for some free bulbs for your own garden, Park Avenue is where it's at. Number 4. Queen's Botanical Garden this is probably the most underrated of all of New York City's botanical gardens. Yet don't let that keep you from visiting this 39-acre destination in Flushing, Queens. Though smaller than the other more prominent gardens, it's still a very pretty sight to see during the spring and summer months. You certainly don't want to miss out on the rose and perennial gardens, the fragrance walk, the butterfly garden, the beehives where they collect their own honey, as well as the herb garden. It's usually a small fee to get into this urban oasis, However, you can get free admission if you visit on a Wednesday afternoon or a Sunday morning. Number 5. Riverside Park This is another park that comes with its own cherry walk. The Riverside Cherry Walk is actually a part of Riverside Walk, a four-mile path along the Hudson River. Every year, sometime between April and May, people flock to the path in the section between 100 and 125th Street just to see the cherry trees come to life in all their pink magnificence. 
1912, Japan gifted 2,000 Kwanzin cherry trees to the city of New York via the Committee of Japanese Residents. Some 700 of those trees were planted here to create Riverside's Cherry Walk. The remainder of the trees were planted in some other parks throughout the city. And if you walk across the nearby Sakura Park, you will find a huge bulk of them there too. Number 6. The Macy's Flower Show For over a century, Macy's department store has hosted many of the city's biggest events that occur throughout the year. And they're no stranger to celebrating the spring season. Every year, locals and tourists come out of the woodwork to witness this epic floral exhibition that takes place along their 34th Street windows and throughout the main floor of their flagship store at Herald Square. There's a new theme every year. Some past themes feature blooming displays of an underwater world, as well as a colorful space age. This year, it's all about hope and optimism. Definitely something in high demand for 2021 and the years ahead. This eye-catching show is free to all shoppers and browsers of the famous department store, and this year, you can catch it from May 2nd through the 16th. Number 7. The New York Botanical Garden I'm sure you're thinking, not another botanical garden. Well, this botanical garden isn't just any ordinary botanical garden. It happens to be one of the nation's leading centers for botanical research, featuring 50 unique garden and plant collections, as well as a cascading waterfall, wetlands, and an untouched old New York forest. What's that you say? Oh, cherry blossoms? Of course! You'll get the works here. In addition to offering you all the bells and whistles, the garden hosts an orchid show every spring, featuring some spectacularly vivid displays of orchids from all over the world. Though they will not be hosting their well-awaited show in 2021, it's expected to be back on track next spring. So be sure to mark your 2022 calendars if you don't want to miss it. Tickets to the garden are for a modest sum, though there are discounted rates for those who qualify and free access for members. Number 8. Central Park Well, you know I had to take you into Central Park eventually. When it comes to spring in Central Park, the entire place is bursting with color. But there are some hot spots you're definitely not going to want to miss. Let's start off with the Conservatory Garden. It's Central Park's formal garden divided into three unique sections, a French garden, an Italianate garden, and an English garden. Each spring, you will find gorgeous candy-colored shades of bulbs, annuals, perennials, and flowering trees among a backdrop of meticulously maintained hedges for a wonderful symphony of beauty and color. Next, you have to make a stop at the Shakespeare Garden, somewhat of a secret spot where you'll discover breathtaking sheets of color from the densely planted clusters of bulbs to the many other flowers that were featured in Shakespeare's plays. This is less of a formal garden with an enchanted feel as it incorporates winding paths with rustic benches and fencing throughout. Honestly, this has got to be one of the most charming places to experience in Central Park. The last, but definitely not the least of spots in Central Park that I must recommend are the Reservoir, Pilgrim Hill, and Cherry Hill. Remember those 2,000 trees that Japan gave to the city in 1912? This is where hundreds of them ended up. And again, you're looking at somewhere between April and May for when they put on their spectacular pink performance. Number 9. Roosevelt Island There's something to be said about Roosevelt Island. It's like no other place in New York. And if you're looking for an excuse to go out there and check it out, you're just about to get one. Along the sides of this skinny little island and scattered throughout are cherry trees galore. They're really just all over the place, and the island is practically a fairy tale landscape when these cotton candy delicious trees are in full bloom. Not to mention, you get to spend priceless moments sitting under a canopy of cherry trees while enjoying gorgeous, picturesque views of Manhattan or Queens. Again, be on the lookout for them sometime between April and May. And last, we have number 10, the High Line. How could I not include the High Line on this list? Located on Manhattan's west side in the Meatpacking District, this elevated park and repurposed railway gets a facelift every spring. Volunteers can be seen early in the season trimming back the winter growth to prepare for new spring blooms. Later in the season as you make your way down its linear paths, you will come across planting beds after railroad tracks brimming with vibrant color from over 500 different species of shrubs, trees, grasses, and flowers. 
definitely not the conventional place that would come to mind on your quest for blooms. But when it comes to the High Line, know that they don't miss a beat. And that's it for the top 10 places to see New York City in full bloom. So tell me, which of these locations are you going out to see first? And for you locals out there, are there any that I missed? If you have others that you'd like to recommend, by all means, do let us know. Anyway, if there's anything else you'd like to say about this topic, feel free to respectfully share it with us in the comments below. Furthermore, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos about New York City, our favorite city, one list at a time. With that said, I'd like to thank you for watching, and we'll see each other next time.